Alright, so I pulled your cards. I thought I did it on camera. Apparently, I did not, Leo. So, I just want to explain your cards for you. And I've already read them, but I am going to just look over them again. So, after I read your cards to you, or I let you know what cards you have, there will be a short, quick video while I read the cards, and then I'll be right back. So, the first card you have is the Eight of Cups. This is for a Leo manifesting a business who has a business idea, um, working on a business and need um, some guidance. But yeah, this is for a Leo in business and um, or a business idea. Then you have Page of Wands. Then you have Page of Pentacles. A lot of pages, right? This is pages signify beginnings the very early stages of something so again this is for a leo who is in a very early stages of a business very beginning early stages of a business even concept phase then you have the knight of wands you have the bottom of the deck energy being the two of wands lots of wands 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 passion energy um then you have your dreams need a practical plan. Full moon and Taurus. So, again, Leo, uh, before I come forward with this message, uh, just a quick video for business owners or people with ideas who need spiritual guidance or would like to have spirit help them along the way. I created a program, a subscription program, and I've opened up slides for people to um, sign up for them who would like you know guidance i ask spirit for guidance all the time when i need balance I, and i'm like what does it mean what do i need balance and spirit say you need order in your life and i know that ain't <laughs> i know that's a fact or if i say should i continue on this youtube channel it's going very slowly what should i do and spirit said no continue on this path this is how you're going to be connected to soul honoring connections so you know, sometimes things aren't what they seem. You just want some spiritual guidance. Should I continue on this idea? What do I need to do to make it work? And that's what this program is about. But anyway, before I get into your video, video Leo, watch this quick video, and I'll be right back. I've manifested over $200,000 so far, but the most important thing that I've manifested is my connection with spirit. I have the ability to communicate with spirit guides that give me strategy, they help me to attune to hurdles along the way, and they keep me on a straight path towards the manifestation of my goals and making sure that I, when I do something wrong, they let me know to keep me in the process of manifesting the desires of my heart. And I want to use my power, my connection with spirit to help you manifest your goals as well. If you want to manifest a new job, if you want to manifest a new car if you want to manifest more money if you want to manifest more life a divine partner a baby whatever it is that you are yearning for allow me to assist you and allow my spirit guides to assist you in your manifestation process by providing you with bi-weekly guidance and strategy towards the manifestation of your goals i'm looking for 33 people to help and if you feel like you're one of those 33 people hit the link below thank you good luck and peace What's up, God? I'm back. Okay, Leo. So let's get right to it. Your first card is the Eight of Cups. This is this just means that um, before you get into the nitty gritty of your business, before you start your business, it's gonna require for you to make a sacrifice. This means walking away from something else. It could be walking away from a job, walking away from things that are no longer serving you, walking away from something getting in the way of you and your business you would know that as an individual if you you know in get in tune with your intuition and you say what is it that i need to walk away from spirit will reveal that to you um but you know get a private reading if you're not sure but anyway you're gonna be required to walk away from something you're gonna have to make a sacrifice you see he has those eight cups already built but in order for him to get the fulfillment that he so desires or she so desires, you have to walk away from something. Then you have the page of wands. This is your idea in strictly hypothetical terms. This is not on paper. This is not structure. It's just what is your idea? Formulate your idea. Figure it out. What business is that? What, you know, this is you knowing what business you want to create and why and this is you just you know dreaming about it and and 
you know, put it in your head and out there in your spirit. Like this is a, this is my dream. This is what I want. This is the business that I want to develop. This is um, who I want to help. But it's not being put in order on paper or in a practical plan. And that's when you have the page of Pentacles. Take that idea out of the hypothetical stage stage and turn it into a practical, orderly plan. So this could be a business plan. This could be a plan of action. This can be um, strategy, iteration, or process. So whatever it is, take that idea phase and put it into a practical plan and iteration, meaning this is the process. This is how I'm going to make money. This is what I'm going to do. This is who I'm going to do it for. And this is how I'm going to make money doing it. Just write it down. This is what I'm going to do. I am going to provide business guidance to spirit. You know, this is just me talking about mine, how you can do this. This is, um, okay. I am going to provide spiritual guidance. I'm going to use my connection with spirit and my power that is very limited, that is very rare, that a lot of people do not have. And I'm going to use that to empower businesses and give them guidance on what they need to do. That's number one. You know, that's just hypothetically. And then number two would be order. How are you going to do it? Who are you going to do it for? How are you going to connect with them? I'm going to connect with them via YouTube because my audience is there. My audience is already seeking spiritual guidance. So I just need to attune to them. I need to develop my no, my brand and credibility so I'm going to provide you two videos on the topic I'm going to connect with people who aspire to be in business who have business ideas but need a little guidance bringing it and putting it into fruition and I'm going to make money through a subscription program that I created providing them with guidance by the value that I add to them is going to equal to the amount that I get back from them so that it's an equal give and take in a win-win situation I'm through my subscription program, whatever, you know what I'm saying? This is just a quick, you know, overview of it. But what is your iteration? What is your process? How are you going to make money doing it? Who is your audience? Where are they? How do you connect with them? How do you establish credibility in your field? And put it to order. Put to order whatever it is that your plan is, whatever ideas you have, aspirations, put it in order. Put a plan to it. And that attunes to, again... You are Oracle card. Your dreams need a plan, a practical plan. Look, a practical plan goes hand in hand with this reading. Put together a practical plan for your dreams. If you want to, I was about to say, sell cat. I don't know what's wrong with my mind right now. It's late, and that is not. But whatever you want to do, put together a practical plan. And put order and bring order and iteration and process and make practical sense of what it is that you want to do and how you're going to make money doing it because you're not in business and no other reason other than to make money. Yes, you add value to other people's lives, but you're doing it for money. You're doing it to add value and use your gifts. Yes, create financial freedom for yourself and to um, hopefully help others in attune to financial freedom for themselves or whatever value you're adding to them. But again, if you're, if you're not making money, it's a really a, it's a charity. It's not business. A charity is a business, but it's not the business that I want to be in. Not right now. I'm in the business to make money. So again, put it in the practical plan and take action on it. Nine of Wands is enthusiastic action, energetic action. This is fiery action. Go after your goals. Go after your dreams with enthusiasm, with fire, using, uh, getting in flow with the creative energies around you and using that to fuel positive change in your business and positive change in your life. And then uh, again, the bottom of the deck energy is the two of wands, meaning this is you looking into the future. This is something that may be happening for you in the near future or who knows how far in the future this is, potentially the near future. So get ready. Just because it's not happening right now doesn't mean that you cannot prepare for it right now. You can you already you can already already attune to the idea that you have, whatever it is that you're passionate about, and then put that practical plan together. Don't wait for it before it's time to I mean, don't wait until it's time to take action for you to have a plan together. You have the idea, put it into a practical plan and process or iteration, whatever it is, write it down, bring order to it. What resources we what resources do you need? Who do you need to connect with? How are you gonna connect with them? Figure that all that out. And then when it's time to take action on it, take fiery, enthusiastic action because you already have a plan, a practical plan together. You already you're in tune with the energies around you, with the law of attraction, whatever your balance. You just need to put it in order. You just need to find the plan, create the plan, and put it in in action. But before you can do that, 
it's going to require a sacrifice. It's going to require a faith sacrifice. Potentially, it may require a leap of faith. But the Eight of Cups is just a 20 to leaving behind things that make you comfortable and going after something that makes you uncomfortable. That could be your dreams. Sometimes our dreams make us uncomfortable because we're unsure of the results. But if Spirit is telling you to do it, Spirit is not going to put you in a position that leads you to darkness. Spirit puts you in a position that leads you to light. So you can trust that whatever it is, it's leading you to more life and light. So whatever you're leaving behind, the future is much brighter than what you're leaving behind. Understand that whatever sacrifice you make is going to be worth it for the end result. Um, I hope this helps, Leo. I think I've hit it in a nutshell. It's really nothing more to add to that. You have the idea, you have the plan, or you're creating it, and you're going to put it to action when it's time. You'll know if you're in tune with the energies around you, you'll know when it's time. This could be the near future for you. But you make that decision. You 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 gain that insight and clarity you need to make that decision. I hope this helps. Please like, subscribe, and comment if you have any questions, if you want a private reading, if you want to be a part of my subscription program, if you want a private reading, whatever it is, the link is in the description. I hope this helps. I wish you love. I wish you light. Increase is flowing to you right now. I believe it. Do you believe it? I believe it, though. Anyway, love you, Leo, and peace.